Hey up everyone, Retro Rewind here, and today's video is all about 8-bit versus 16-bit, or 16-bit versus 8-bit, as I put it in the video. So it's the Mega Drive versus the Mass System. Technically, I know this video has been done on the YouTube over many years. People have filmed this, and I thought I'd bring my perspective to it, shall I say. Um, I wanted to film, use my iPhone 14, I wanted to film the CRT, I know it doesn't pick the quality up just as good as uh, card catching as a lot of people would emulate and card catcher the uh, the video footage. I thought I'd film the CRTV and see what the difference is between 8-bit and 16-bit. I know people are going to say straight off the bat that 16-bit is better than 8-bit, which is true. It is better. I, I'll admit that. The Mega Driver is a better system than the Master System. Didn't mean to make that rhyme, but it is. Of course it is. It's a new and improved model. It is a Mega Drive 16-bit over the Master System 8-bit. It's a newer console. It's going to be better. But this is not what the video is about. I'm not going to film me saying this is that better, that better. What I've done is, because of, of my game room, I've got a large selection of games. Um, the Master System, obviously, everyone knows, I have a full UK PAL set. i say UK PAL set is 269 games. I'm looking up there because I have a Mega Drive section and I've got the Mass System section on the wall. Um, and I've noticed um, when I was moving stuff about on the Mega Drive section that I have a number of games that clearly I've got to have the Mass System. So what I thought I'd do is pick eight games. I've got them stacked down here. Um, obviously, I've got one playing on the screen behind us, which obviously is uh, World Cup Italia 90. What I thought I'd do is I've got, I think I've got about 14 games on the Mega Drive. The same as the Mass System. I picked eight games, so obviously the video is not too long. I don't want to bore too many people doing it. But for I'm going to try and play or record footage of about five minutes of each and just see what the difference is between the 8 bit and the 16 bit. I just, for me personally, I wanted to see what the difference is uh, visually and also how it plays. Is there any difference in gameplay? Was that uh, obviously the graphics going to make a lot of difference how you play the game, but you know i know for a fact that um i played sonic on the mass system and i played it on the mega drive and they're slightly different and they're both yet so good on both systems everyone everyone talks about the mega drive but not a lot not a lot of people talk about the mass system because i think a lot of people will just go straight to the mega drive over the 8-bit mass system which they're wrong they should try out the mass system version so what i've done I've, I've, i'll tell you what i've got the games here um i've picked up eight games and i try to kind of mix up the uh, genre of it so we've got um world cup italia 90 sport game obviously we've got jungle book as a platform i've gone for a bit of a racer so we've got micro machine i've gone for a fighting game so i've gone for a mortal combat I'm going for another platformer, and I've gone for Aladdin. So, yeah, two Disneys, because Disney do make some rather good um, platformers. And then I've gone for another sports game. I've gone for Olympic Gold. I've gone for a beat-em-up. So I've gone for the classic Streets of Rage 2, which is a phenomenal game. Everyone knows its game. And then I had to go to the go-to game on the Mega Drive, and that is the original Sonic the Hedgehog. And... To prove, obviously, I've got the, the uh, pile here. I'll, I'll show you. I've picked up, obviously, I've got the Mass System pile. So, yes, World Cup, Italian IT, Jungle Book. So, I like the covers. The covers are, can be slightly different and some can be the same. So, we've got, obviously, Micro Machines. We've got Mortal Kombat. And I've still got it in a protected case. I should have took it out for filming. Uh, Aladdin. Um, Olympic Gold, another one in the shiny cover should have took out. <laughs> Streets Race 2, obviously I'm going to take them out when I play them. And then obviously Sonic. I actually like, I actually prefer, I actually prefer the Sonic cover on the Mass System over the Mega Drive. I just like all the coins in the background. Just, I just think it's a slightly better cover. 
That's my opinion, and I'm giving you it. So they are the eight games I decided to pick. Like I said, I could have had a few more. I did, I did try to mix them up. I was going to go for... I was going to include a couple more. I thought about looking up last week. I was going to do Jungle um, Jungle Strike, um, something like that. I've got that, another shoot them up or something else. But I thought, do you know what? Eight games, I think, is enough. So I thought, you know, let's play through it. Let's have a bit of foot footage of each game just so we can have some comparison, really. It's not, I know it's... I know I've done the verses and it's all about which one's better, but we know how I'm going to say it. The Mega Drive is going to be better. It's a more powerful system. But for fun, for me personally, I was going to sit and do this on my own, just play through them. I was going to take turns on the playing the Master System. Then I was going to play the Mega Drive, play the Master System, play the Mega Drive. So I thought, do you know what? Why don't I just film it? Put some footage out on YouTube, see what you guys think. And yeah, let's go. So I am now going to sit and try and play through all these games um yeah i'm going to try and probably film about five minutes footage and probably i'm going to try and play at least 10 20 minutes on each game to kind of get myself some game well some gameplay for me some so i can feel that if one game's better than the other and then i can give you an opinion what i feel played better than the other and I, I you never know i might think some of the mass system games are better than the mega drive that we don't know until I play through all of these and give them all a fair share of go. So all I'm going to say is sit back, enjoy this, and then I'll, I'm going to slap. I don't know where I'm going to put the footage up. You guys are going to see this in a minute. I don't know if I'm going to put them side by side on the screen somehow or taking turns. I'm, you know, it's just amateur hour here. You know, I'm, I'm not using a laptop capture card or anything. I'm just using my iPhone with an app and just film and just put stuff on so let's see how this turns out and then i'll give you a review at the end so hopefully you're going to watch through this so let's jump in with the first game a bit of footy a bit of footy so we'll see i've actually put the mega drive on first so uh, we'll have a go on that and see how it's good or not
So there we go guys, that was my take on the 16-bit versus 8-bit. Um, what can I say? Sega, Mega Drive, 16-bit versus Mass System, 8-bit. I tell you what, it's been a lot of fun playing these games. Right, what can I say about them though? I hope the footage was good enough for you guys to take in. Because um, playing in front of the CRTV, I've got to say... I've not played much of the Mega Drive and some of the games I've not even played on the Mega Drive. So just playing Sonic again was just absolutely beautiful. CRTV is just fantastic for the Mega Drive. The Mega Drive just is amazing. What a system. It's just, we were so blessed with the uh, Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive back in the 90s because just, wow, amazing. What can I say then? Game-wise... I've got the two piles here, so let's put them in front of me so I can bring them up. Right, on top of the pile, last games, they're in last order than what I showed them. So there you go, those two. I've got to say, both of them, both of them are amazing. You know, if that one didn't exist and it was just that one, absolute superb game. If that one just exists on its own, superb game. But both of them, we are blessed to have both 8-bit and 16-bit these two games are superb. They are really good. And it's really hard to pick between the two that, you know, I know you're going to think, oh, 16 bits has got to be mightier. It's got to be more powerful. It's better graphics. Honestly, there's not, I can't, playing them, yeah, the, that's the Mega Drive that's playing right now. And the colors are amazing. Absolutely superb. But gameplay, just, I'm going to go, for looks is that, but gameplay, I just something about it is just really good. I, oh, they're so they're a close call. They're really good. Anyway, um, Streets of Rage Two, my system Mega Drive, obviously. That is awful. It's not very good. It's not a very good game. It's a rare game. It's expensive because it's a later game. Not many around people probably didn't buy it. It's it's all right. It's all right for an eight bit. It's not too bad. It's okay, but. It's not as good as the first one on the uh, mass system. It's all right. Yeah. But that, how can you? Amazing. Just, mwah, just what a game. One of the best games ever made for the Mega Drive. Such a great beat em up. I know the first one was really good, but the second one, wow. Just awesome. I was thinking just the bonus stages. You don't get them kind of things like that. Look at them. Brilliant. Anyway, next up, we had Olympic Golds. What I've got to say about this game is, it was all right. It's it's not bad on the mass system. It's pretty good. It's not bad on the Mega Drive. It's pretty good. The only difference is you get far better graphics and gameplay from the Mega Drive, of course. But it played okay. It played okay on the mass system. I was quite surprised. I thought it would be. I thought the difference between the two. I thought this would be mega mega rubbish compared to it. It's not the best game anyway. But it did all right. It did all right. It, you know, I was I was quite surprised. Now. When we get to these two, Disney makes some beautiful games. Um, two totally different games, technically. Um, you know, it played differently to the... The Mass System played differently to the Mega Drive. Um, on its own, beautiful-looking game. 
really nice game to play you know mechanics behind it really nice graphics you can tell once you, when you played that and then played that they just wow that is stunning that is just absolutely stunning disney do make some beautiful games and that was i gotta say stunning again on the crtv beautiful beautiful colors plays really well but like i said both games are very well very well played i i, I enjoy playing both of them both of them 8 bit or 16 bit but just sound and color and everything just amazing on the mega drive really really does make a difference right <laughs> mortal kombat covers are very similar aren't they there's not much difference between them but yeah the gameplay is a little bit sloppy it's a two button two button bash on the um on the uh, mass system it's hard to try and pull off any special moves with it it's a bit you know but it does all right for the a bit it does okay it's not too bad it's but then when you boom you pop the mega drive in wow mega drive is just absolutely superb it's it's really good. Yeah, you can pull for special moves, as you saw from me. Liu Kang I, I, he's my go-to player when I used to um, play with him in the arcade. He's brilliant. Obviously, the bonus stages and stuff like that, brilliant. A very good game, especially on the CLTV. Um, obviously, uh, top, top down racer. So, obviously, it's filmed downwards. Like I said, top, it's filmed downwards, which is different to, I don't know, sort of the races. And gameplay is so much harder on the mega drive i got so much further on the mass system gotta make sure i've got the right way around um yeah uh yeah gameplay i found it a lot easier on the mass system than I did the mega drive graphics though i didn't i didn't see too much difference between the two when i was playing the mega drive i put the mega drive on the mass system, I was like, it was really yes it's a bit more colorful but it was really hard to tell, I, I thought it was hard to tell the difference between the two, really, to be fair. The only difference, like I said, I found was the Mega Drive was a lot harder. I just felt it was a lot harder than the Mass System. I don't know if I lost my touch of racing. I remember back in the day playing it on the Mega Drive at my cousin's. And yeah, brilliant. So nostalgia for that. Uh, it's the first time I've actually played this on the Mega Drive since at my cousin's when I was like 14 or something like that. 14, 15, no, that would be wrong. How would it be? be about 16 17 or something like that so yeah so that was cool to play that again now we're getting on to these those who have watched my channel <coughs> excuse me well no jungle book on the mass system i don't like i don't like the mechanics behind it i don't like the way it plays i don't like the way it pauses when it jumps it was like hesitancy he's jumping it i just i just didn't like it um graphically very good good looking game you know it looks good but me personally i don't like the way it plays i don't know just it's just not me then obviously i'll put it down i was expecting to hate it on the mega drive because us because i didn't like it so much on the mass system i thought it was going to play exactly the same on the mega drive i was quite surprised actually the mechanics behind it was beautiful it flowed nice it moved well and yeah i liked it and just the oh wow disney beautiful looking game really really stunning on the uh, crtv looks amazing what i gotta say about it is you can't use one of them your jump button just keeps pausing the game it pause jump pause jump so you can't use one of them so you have to go old school which i did i put it in and um after putting it in for this game, I played all, all the rest of the Mag Mega Drive games with that in. So it felt quite cool playing back on the original uh, cons control. But yeah, beautiful game. Loved how it played. Um, I really got into it. I really wanted to play it more and more. Um, whereas the mass system, I just wanted to throw it out the window. Hated it. But yeah, really enjoyed that. Um, I'll definitely go back to playing that. And we go sports game. Yes. Yeah, Sports games. We've got World Cup Italia ninety. Um totally to totally different cover art, which is pretty cool. Um it does play well. It plays really well on the mass I was quite surprised how well it plays. It was it was all right. Um it I want anything special. I think you'll see. I got hammered towards the end, about three nil or something. I did I, di I didn't do too well it, but it, it seemed to play all right, it looked all right. And then we come to the Mega Drive. 
just it was just the way it just jumped in color and graphics it was just it was a massive it was a massive boom like i put it on it was like wow so different and it yeah it played all right not the most exciting game i don't think the most exciting football game out on the mega drive or the mass system but the difference yeah the 16 bit just made a, a massive difference in color so i was quite surprised at, at that i think i picked i think i picked eight good games actually to choose from i don't know if i could have, have picked anything different to sway how it works but like i said at the beginning of the video you knew you knew the mass system was going to lose to the mega drive of course it's going to do it's and and that's not really what i made this video about really or for shall i say i made it just to show the difference between 16 bit and 8 bit how much it moved on or how well the mass system did with the 8 bit power it had how how lucky we was at we were to have such a good console back then it it was such a really cool little console and i think it did so well with so many games um the it was quite interesting. It would be nice to, if I go down the line and play some more Mega Drive games that were on the Mass System, see if I can compare them myself, maybe em emulate a few, which I don't own on the Mega Drive, just to see how they um, how they differ and how they play, really. Because, yeah, the Mega Drive, the Mega Drive is such a stunning, stunning console, and the game, the games are beautiful. They just, I don't know what it is. I know today's modern gaming is obviously got to be more beautiful and the way it looks and all that but i don't know it's just it's something about the 16-bit era i really really enjoy uh the way it plays the way it looks and um yeah i was, I was really i think out of those out of those eight games looking down there out of these i'll pick the pile up out of these out of these uh out of these titles here for the mega drive the two disney games the two disney games just were stunning just just beautiful looking games i'm trying not to drop them just just stunning really stunning games and but i think the champions out of both those piles has got to be sonic sonic on the mass system and sonic on the mega drive were just great to play great to look at just everything about them was just superb i think mass system's done so well with it it's it's if you've not played it i really recommend playing it because most people just played the mega drive but yeah fantastic out of this pile i should pick the pile up yeah the mass system pile there what can i say about um yeah aladdin's a nice looking game it really is um and so is um jungle book i think aladdin just looked a lot more stunning than um than jungle book it was a very very nice looking game but you know street fight uh street fight streets of rage 2 really sh showed it just wasn't capable of playing i don't think as well on the uh, mass system it just it just didn't cut it i don't think but good old sonic go on sonic it it really sh it really powered through for the mass system so yeah i really enjoyed that i've, I've sat down here for a few hours um yeah for a, a fair few hours late into the night playing all these games getting the footage and I've got to say, I'm buzzing. It was so, it, it was brilliant. I hope everyone's got to this point in my video and is seeing my my uh, conclusions on the games. I've, I, I've enjoyed it. It's, and it's been so nice to get in the games room and put some quality time in it. It's not very often I put this amount of time into the gameplay. So it kind of, it was nice to document it because it was, it was so much fun. I really, it was so much fun. And um, yeah. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope the footage of the because that that plane right now looks beautiful. So I hope that I hope the footage looks as good for you guys to watch. And what can I say is thanks very much for continuing to support the channel. I hope you like it. If you do, hit like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, helps the channel grow, doesn't it? Share if you like. Share this video. You know, get it out there. It's it's been fun filming this one and hopefully maybe i should do a few more projects or maybe come back and um do a few more mass system versus mega drive games let me know what you guys think in the comments of this video and maybe and if you want me to come back and do more of mass system versus mega drive content if you do let me know and i'll see you on the next video take care